morning. Thank you for calling this in the Bronx. This is Melissa speaking. How may I help you? Hi, is this the gym? Yes. Hi. Um, I I work out there. I'm you know one of your um your what do you call them? Members. Members. I'm one of your members, and um, I was in there tonight, and I was working out, and right next to me, I I believe that I saw a lesbian standing right next to me, and I'm I I, I could tell that she was a lesbian because she had a, a star tattoo on her wrist, and she was benching about three hundred. About 250, 300. Okay. I'd like to know if you plan on doing anything about this. I'd like to know what you're going to do about this. Well, ma'am, we are the judgment-free zone, so it shouldn't matter if a person who is a lesbian works out in the gym to really do anything about that. Oh, it ruined my whole Thanksgiving. Your whole Thanksgiving? Yes. Thanksgiving isn't until Thursday, though. I'll be thinking about that tattoo until next Thursday. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. Yeah, she's strong. That's good. No. How do I know that you're not one of those? One of those uh, lesbians over there. One of those people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not a lesbian. I'm straight. Oh. All right. Well, I just don't want her near me. Okay, so if she's in the gym with you, like, at the same time, just find a different machine and work out somewhere else until she leaves the area you want to work out in and then you can use that area afterwards. Can I have one of the trainers walk around with me like a bouncer to protect me? Um, no, because we, the trainers have specific hours and specific people they have to work with, so unless you pay him extra, maybe. I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind paying extra just to make sure that I was protected because, you know, they run in packs. They, run, they don't run in packs. Those lesbians, sh- sure they do. They they run in gangs. They're like in gangs and stuff. What gangs? There's like lesbian gangs. I've never heard of it. You didn't hear about that on Bill O'Reilly? That there's all kinds of lesbian gangs going around. No, I never heard of that. Watch Bill O'Reilly. He knows. Oh, well. I'll be sure to look out for the lesbian gangs in the gym then. Okay, well, I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. No problem. All right, well, you've been very nice. Oh, that's my job. <laughs> it sure is, and they I think that you deserve a raise. Okay, <laughs> no, I think I do too. I feel much safer now that I spoke to you, because I'm afraid of those gangs, but I feel much safer now that I spoke to you. All right, good, I'm glad. Thank you. All right, no problem. Bye. 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 Good evening, thank you for calling Miss in the Bronx. This is Melissa speaking, how about you? Um, hi, Melissa? Yes. Hi, how are you, sweetheart? Okay. Um, my sister just called up the gym, and she's in a little bit of hysterics right now. She's having a panic attack because she heard that there are lesbian gangs at your gym. And I think she has, like, some sort of phobia with lesbian gangs. So... Oh, but I told her about that. I thought she was fine. She said she felt safer. No. She, she's she's really shooken up, and we're all, like, really shooken up here. And I don't, I don't know what to do with her. I don't know how to calm her down. I mean, to the point where, you know, we're going to have to get our whole family's membership canceled, and we're probably going to have to go to Gold's Gym or something. I, I don't know what we're going to do here. There is no more Gold's Gym. They have one in Manhattan. I don't know, man. Well, what did you say to her? What did you say to her? Uh, All she could say is lesbian gangs, lesbian gangs. (laughs) (laughs) I don't don't know. Do you think it's funny? (laughs) I, I don't think it's funny, Melissa. I tried to reassure her that not all lesbians are aggressive, and I don't know. I said it was in a public place so she could call the cops, and there's protection here. Like she would get hurt in the gym. If, if you feel like you need to cancel your membership, you can go All right, calm down. Just calm down, okay? I'm going to fix this. Yeah, she's flipping out. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do here. 
That's all she could say. I'm really upset. All she could say is lesbian gangs. Man, maybe you should take her to a psychiatrist, a counselor, um, someone who can help better help her with her fear of lesbian gangs. Yeah, I, well, you know, she didn't have this fear until she spoke to you. Well, she, she really, she, she didn't have this fear until she spoke to you, Melissa. And I really don't know what I'm going to do here with her. I mean, it's like it caused a whole disruption. All right, we won't go to Gold's Gym anymore. We got to go to Dolphin's Gym now. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. It's in your hands. There's nothing I can do. I'm just an 18-year-old girl that works at a gym. Well, now she's convinced that you're a lesbian and that you're part of the gang. <laughs> and you have all of her information. And she's nervous because she, you have her address, her phone number, her, her I, I don't even know her name. I don't know her name. They don't know your name. So relax. I, I have to calm her down. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to put you on the phone with my coworker. okay? The name is James, and maybe he can help you out, okay? Okay. All right. Hello? Hello? James. Hi, James. how are you doing? <sighs> I, we have I, a problem I, I, I here. I've been hearing your conversation for a minute, and I hear that you have a problem with lesbian gangs. Yes, we have a huge problem with the lesbian gangs that you have in your establishment. And my sister, now I have to check her in to a psychiatric board because... Psychiatric board because she, she's a lesbian? No, no. Oh, she has a phobia of lesbians oh, phobia. and that there are lesbian gangs in your place. And oh, everyone it thinks this is so funny and they're laughing, but this oh. isn't a laughing matter because oh. now I have to deal with this. Who? Oh, who? Who's laughing? I, I hear people in the background laughing, uh, and my poor sister... Those are just our members. They were just telling jokes to each other. Oh, okay, because all she could say that's coming out of her mouth are lesbian gangs. Wow. That's pretty... That's, that's it. pretty weird. Lesbian gangs. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Lesbian gangs. Perhaps she can come here and confront her fear. Lesbian gangs. Lesbian gangs. The first, all the first thing says. you do for, if you have a fear with lesbian gangs is perhaps... You know, approach the lesbian gangs and let them know that you have a phobia of their lesbianness and their gangness, and perhaps maybe they could talk out their problems. It's just, it's just these gays are taking over the fucking world. I, I, you know, I'm gay, so you know that's kind of offending me. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I like gay men. Oh, I enjoy gay men too. So what are we gonna do with with the lesbian gangs, though? That lesbian, I'm not sure. I'll talk to my fellow lesbian gang uh, community board, and we'll find out what we can do. Okay. All right. Thank All you, right. Dean. No problem. Fabulous. Please, Mama, can't you see? I've always tried to please. I wore ribbons and jewelry and makeup and perfume and dresses down to my knees. You said that it's a phase to something I'd outgrow. But I got a girlfriend and she's got a lawn that I'd sure like to mow Go on and wish that Brad Pitt would come along But I prefer Madonna in a lacy thong 